Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Life Sheik Excel Master, and this is your friend Farah Sheik. And today we are going to learn how to add the leading zeros in Excel. And we are going to talk a little bit about in depth that how to use them. We are also going to see five different examples and the best practice to follow. And also going to see that how to add the leading zeros with the text and the impact on the formula while extracting the data. We usually come across a scenario that when we write any number starting with the leading zero, the Excel automatically removes the leading zeros. The reason why this happens, unfortunately, when you enter such value, Excel applies a general numeric format and it automatically removes the leading zeros. Excel won't display or store the leading zeros, as also you can see in the formula bar. The question arises as why do we need the leading zeros in our data? Is it so important to have them? Well, it is totally your personal choice. And the reason why we have the leading zeros, maybe your data is consisting some PIN codes and those are been starting with the zeros and there would be some employer IDs or numbers that might start with the zero. So whenever somebody sees your data and you wanted to have a uniform look to for your data, you might add a leading zero to it. That could be one of the reasons we add the leading zeros to our data. And let us quickly jump to our example and see how can we add the leading zeros to our number. The first example what we are going to see is just by putting an apostrophe. Let us consider that we are going to put two zeros ahead of our number. Right. And then we are going to write our number. Again, as you have seen, Excel has automatically detected the pattern of my data. And this is a flash fill option which is available in Excel. And once I press enter, it will automatically fill my data, which is called as a flash fill. As I have entered my data, as you can see, there is a warning message coming here. The numbers in the cells is formatted as a text or preceded by an apostrophe. Just ignore the error for the time being and I will get back to you shortly on this one. In the second example, we are going to see with the help of the formula, how are we going to add a leading zero. So we are going to use a concatenate function or you can use an ampersand sign well, equals to concatenate we are going to say open quotes 0 0 close quotes comma and my cell value and we'll drag it down but as you can see my friends that the data what has been dragged down over here 0 32 it is not in the same structure numeric structure this can be only helpful my friends when you are sure that your number of series are with three digits or two digits and you would like to add the number of zeros. Now let us look at our third example which we are going to use a text function e equals to text and we are going to select the value comma and we are going to give the formatting by giving five zeros. E zero represents a numeric number. It doesn't mean that it will be a zero. Okay. So once we enter it over here and we got this one. So as you may observe the last data is 22.2 .2, where it has not picked up the decimal value. To make that formatting in the decimal value I need to put another 0 0.0. So now when I will pull down my formula it will automatically convert it. So this sounds much better than the second example. Now let us look the fourth example. Now the fourth example which is there, we are not going to use any formula, we are going to use the inbuilt function of number formatting where you can just click on this down arrow or simply you can press ctrl 1. Once the format cell is open, you can select the numbers, select the customs once you select the customs, you have varieties of customs you might have been used earlier. But here we would like to customize it by 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. 0.0. Excellent. Here we have it. So as you can see, we got our zeros without applying any formulas or anything. So before we jump to our fifth example, the reason why I'm showing you all these four examples is I would like to make you aware that how the formatting will work in case of you have a formula and in my first example 
we came across this warning message which is saying the numbers in the cell is formatted as text and preceded by an apostrophe. What Excel does that whenever you will enter any number starting with an apostrophe, it will convert that number into a text. So it will be no more a number. Yes, you can do some calculations. Maybe you can add a value to it, like how we are doing it here. It will work. But when it comes to a case of a formula, let us see how it will behave. So let us consider that we are doing a VLOOKUP and we are extracting a value from our first example, second example, and third example, fourth example table, which are over here. Currently, there is no data, so that's why I'm getting an error. So let us add 0, 0, 2, 1, 2, enter. So as you have seen that we have got the value only on the last table. By now, you must have got the reason why it has been not picked up from the other table. The answer is very simple. The numbers in the cell is formatted to a text. So I, if I, we need to pick up this value, then we need to add it as 0, 0. But again, you must have noticed that the third example data is not picked up in the VLOOKUP. The reason why I need to add a point zero. And then you have seen the other places the data has been gone. So the best way to format is always by going to the format cells and put your custom formatting. You might have a question that why did the third and the second example doesn't have that warning message. The reason behind is that it is still in formula. So if I convert it and paste it as a value, that warning message will also appear. Let us jump to our fifth example. So let us consider you have a set of data over here which are your material code or some kind of a codification number and you would like to add the leading zeros to that. So with the help of the number formatting it will be not possible to add those leading zeros to your data. So the simple way is that we are going to use a repeat function and we are going to count the length of these characters and minus those lengths. So let us consider in this case we have the column M has a data with a length of 6 characters. So to make it as 6 characters, we are going to use a repeat function and we are going to repeat the 0, comma, and 6 times we are going to repeat the zeros minus the length of the character. The alien functions will count the length of the character and we will minus it. So we got the number of lengths, we need to add the zeros and we are going to concatenate it by an ampersand. We select that value, cell value. Here we have it. As we drag it down, excellent. Seeing the last record, which is 2122EC, doesn't have any leading zeros because the character length itself is of six characters. So this, there are no zeros being repeated. So this is the way you can handle the leading zeros in Excel. The best and the recommended technique is to use the number formatting in case you have the numbers only in your data. So I hope my friends you have enjoyed this video. So please push a like button, share this video, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for the latest update. And I'll be keep posting more Excel videos. Signing off for the day, your friend Farah Sheikh from Sheikh Excel Master. Have a great day.